I recently received a text message from a young man, a, a young believer, and he said there's a lot of things going on in his life and it caused him to feel distant from God. He told me he wanted to get closer to him, but he didn't know where to start. Well, if you can relate to him, I have some really good news for you. Uh, God wants to be close to you. God wants to be in a relationship with you. Again, as we learned in the first video, uh, that God actually wants to be found and that we don't have to strive to look for him if we'll open our eyes and see. Well, in the same way, God wants to be close to you. You're not the only one who wants to be close in this relationship. Now, how do we know that? Colossians 1, 19 says, for God in all his fullness was pleased to live in Christ. So God closed that relational distance, that gap between us by coming on uh, to earth in Christ with us. You may have heard it around Christmas time, Emmanuel, God with us. It was the, the name they gave Jesus uh, before he was even born. Well, Colossians 1, 20 through 22, goes on to explain why there was even a distance and then how it was closed. Now, this distance isn't like a literal distance. It's a spiritual, uh, relational distance. And so Colossians goes on to explain how it was bridged and, and the gap was filled. Here's what it says. And through him, Jesus, God reconciled everything to himself. So he restored the relationship. He made peace with everything in heaven and on earth by means of Christ's blood on the cross. This includes you who were once far away from God. Now, this wasn't, again, a literal distance. It was a way of living, living off target, off the mark, not the way God wants us to live. It says, you were his enemies, separated from him by your evil thoughts and actions. So he's talking about sin there. Yet now he has reconciled you to himself through the death of Christ in his physical body. As a result, he has brought you into his own presence. That sounds close to me. And you are holy and blameless as you stand before him without a single fault. See, God initiated the opportunity for us to be in close fellowship and in his presence spiritually through the life and the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Jesus came to the earth to fix this distance, to bridge the gap, so to say, to bring us back into close relationship with God. And God wants you to be with him so much that he gave up Jesus he paid the price for our sins by giving his son Jesus so that we could return and be close to him again. This was even during the time where you were living in sin or uh, pursuing selfish ambitions. You weren't even looking for God. He was taking care of all of this for you and I, even when we didn't even care what he had to offer. It's amazing grace, to be honest with you, because he didn't have to do any of it, but he did it for us because we couldn't do it for ourselves. It's by putting our faith in Jesus that God identifies us as one of his own children. So faith in Jesus makes us close as family. Now, I don't know about you, but I like family. I love my family. And how would you like to be as close as family with God? So here's what Ephesians chapter one, verses four through five says. Even before he made the world, God loved us and chose us in Christ to be holy and without fault in his eyes. God decided in advance to adopt us into his own family by bringing us to himself through Jesus Christ. This is what he wanted to do, and it gave him great pleasure. So as you can see, God wants to be close to you. He wanted to do this. He wants you to be part of his family. So you're not the only one who wants to be close. God also wants to be close to you. And that is really good news. Think about that for a moment. You are wanted. The creator of the universe, your heavenly father, 
wants to be close to you. Not many people could say that. So if God wants to be close to you and you want to be close to him, what's the next step? Well, if you're not a family member uh, with God, if you're not one of God's family members, then the next step is to put your faith and your trust in what Jesus has done for you on the cross. And it's by putting your faith in what he's done that you are forgiven. And what separated you from God, which was sin, is forgiven. It's washed away. And then God gives us his Holy Spirit to be in us, to identify us as one of his own children. So today, I would encourage you to admit that you need Jesus, you need his forgiveness, that you need God to bridge that gap, to fix that, that bridge that was broken down because of sin, and ask him to change your life from the inside out. And then if you're a believer and you're feeling distant, maybe you just need to remind yourself of who you really are in Christ, that you are a family member of God. You may feel distant, but the reality is God is close, as close as a father is to his children. And that God loves his children so much. He's right there. He's with you. So don't listen to your feelings. Listen to the truth. Listen to the reality. Remember the reality is that as soon as you put your faith in Christ, you're family and you're close to God. Let me pray. God, we thank you for this amazing blessing to be included into your family through Jesus Christ. God, we thank you that you actually want to be close to us. It's not just us, but you came to earth. You fixed the broken bridge and restored that relationship through Jesus Christ. And now we enter into this close relationship, this, this relationship that is like family. We enter it by putting our faith in Jesus, by following you through this life. God, we thank you for that. We do that, and we consider ourselves close to you as close as family. In Jesus' name, amen.